today with you for another fun drop-in art class. Thank you again to Perry County Council of the Arts for continuing to sponsor drop-in art virtually online for us this year. So today we are going to learn all about Vasily Kandinsky and his abstract concentric circles. So if you would like to see how we made this project and learn more about Kandinsky by following the educational links below, stay with us. Here come the supplies for today's project. This project, you will need a selection of colorful papers. I've chosen mine in kind of an autumn rainbow because uh, we are in October right now and I'm gonna make an autumn inspired Kandinsky uh, concentric circle tree, but you can choose whichever uh, colors you like or you have to work with. So just a selection of different colors, a blue paper uh, for our background, and a piece of black paper to create the trunk of our tree. You will need a pen or pencil. And if you'd like, you can have a variety of different size circles to trace, or you can freehand cut your circles, or you can do some of each. And you'll need a pair of scissors to cut out your circles and glue to glue everything in place. Okay, so let's get started. So first we need to make our tree trunk and you can do that by using your hand kind of as a template to make a tree. So stick your hand down on the paper and if you need someone to help you, you can ask a friend or an adult helper to trace your tree trunk. So I would get a little bit of your arm so that it kind of looks like the base of the tree. Spread your fingers out nice and wide and go around them and it doesn't have to be perfect because here we're just looking for something that kind of looks like a tree trunk shape with a bunch of branches at the top so we can situate our circles up there. So we're just gonna go around our hand and my tree apparently has a little knot on the side, <laughs> which is where my watch is. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut that shape out and that will be the base of our tree. Go ahead and cut it out. Kandinsky, you may have learned about in school, you love to do the dot, the concentric dots, um, which are so fun. And one of his pieces of art, series of art that he is most known for. Kandinsky loved playing with color and color theory during his Time as an artist. He lived from the late 1800s through the early 1900s. And he has a lot of lovely quotes about art and color theory. And if that's something you're interested in, I encourage you to use the educational links below to learn more about him. Okay, so once we've cut out our tree trunk. I even think that the uh, watch added a really nice little uh, burl notch to the tree there. So once you've added that in place, let's go ahead and glue it down to our background paper. Kandinsky was a artist in Russia and he is best known, like I said, for his circle paintings and for being one of the early adopters and influencers and creators credited with making the modern art movement. So it's really cool when someone comes up with something that's never been done before, right? And he's famous for saying that modern art actually takes a very keen eye probably to know when to stop right? It's all about composition. So let's get composing. Now what we want to do is go ahead and make our concentric circles in Kandinsky style. So we're going to start with our larger circles. If you like, you can trace your shape and use that to cut out the big circle. I have just a roll of masking tape here. 
or you can freehand cut. I think I'll do a little bit of each so you can see both. And this is a great way to practice your scissor skills. So go ahead and make some big circles. And I'm gonna go ahead and make, while I have the red out, a few smaller circles as well. And then we will layer them all up. I love playing with shapes and colors. This is a really fun and relaxing one to do on a rainy day this autumn. Think about all of the beautiful colors of the leaves outside. That can be a source of inspiration. And then make a kind of a abstract look with all of your color combinations, okay? So that's what we're gonna think about while we work. So I'm gonna start with my largest circles first. And go ahead and put those down on my tree, wherever you would like. Ooh, a lot of glue. Okay, so there's my first one. And then I will put this yellow one on top of my tree, orange. And I'm gonna leave a little space over here for a smaller cluster and I'll put my other largest one down here. So it's really all about playing with color and using the layers to build interest. So now we don't wanna stick a red one on top of a red one. So let's choose a different color. How about brown? We'll go with brown. going to put it slightly off center because I think that's fun and on the orange I think I'll do a red and I might need to cut more circles I was a little stingy with my circle cutting so it's a good time to practice your scissor skills so I am going to put I don't want two reds next to each other I'm going to cut out a few more circles so be right back. Okay, I've cut a few more circles and chosen my other middle circle layers. So I'm going to go ahead and stick those down in place. And then I'm going to choose another color for inside of this. So let's just have fun building our layers. What would look good over here? Hmm, how about yellow? And on top of that one, how about um, a purple and a green, maybe? Or a brown and a green? Yeah, let's layer those together. That's fun. Okay, and this one, oh no, I forgot about this one. Oh, that's where the red goes. Let's get that one on there. Just a little circle. And let's do a purple on here. And we'll finish this one off with a yellow. And there we have it. A really beautiful, I'm going to make one falling down here on the ground. Falling down, maybe falling down. You could add a few to the side if you want, whatever you like to do. And there you have it, our beautiful Kandinsky concentric circle inspired autumn tree. Thanks for joining me today, friends. Stay creative. Bye-bye.